Wall Street Trini, Hello. welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a while. How are you doing? I am doing fantabulous, thank you. How is the people of Trinidad and Tobago? The people of Trinidad and Tobago, they're fine, Wall Street. We're there, you know, trying to get through this pandemic in one piece. So what's going on with you? I am fantabulous, you know, taking things one day at a time and, you know, glad to be in, 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 the, in the land of the living. Well, Wall Street, it's no secret why I'm calling you this evening. Um, we spoke off here prior to the phone call. The people of Trinidad and Tobago, Wall Street, they, they really want to get to the bottom of what happened with stalwarts in the party, PNM activists that were fighting on behalf of the team. Um, I'm don't, I don't know if you know that there are UNC activists now, you know, amalgamating, rallying their troops, trying to put pressure on the government. And the citizens are asking, but where are the fighters on behalf of the PNM? And I'm thinking it's a conversation that I need to have. And I, I want to start with you because nobody has been a bigger fighter for the cause than your good self. So Wall Street, you care to tell me and the listeners what happened? What happened with as far as as far as your fighting what spirit? What happened to your fighting spirit, Wall Street? What going on? Talk to me. Oh, my my fighter. I I still I'm I'm still a supporter of the People's National Movement. You know, I have never I've never and and let me say this, Aisha. I want to say all those people in the PNM, especially those in the PN in the go along get along PNM gang. What I supposed to mean? I hear you call me as a member of this go along get along. I hear I in this gang. What does this go along get along gang mean? Explain. All right, I'm going to describe that for you. For all those members of the go along get along gang. All right, I. I'm not a member of the Go Along Get Along PNM gang. I am a critical thinker, and I think for myself. I do have to listen to what somebody else say, and go and regurgitate what they say. And if somebody tells me something, I use Google, not the one who is on 91.9. Yeah? The one where you had to go to the internet and actually Google. All right. So for all those, and I'm putting a challenge. So all those in the go along get along PNM gang. Up to now, you ain't tell me what I mean, do eh? I will, I will tell you, but let me just quickly put this out. I will put this out to the people in the go along get along gang and those who are on social media. If any one of you can prove that I'm a UNC, I will donate 100,000 TT to a charity of your choice. Let me repeat that. If any of you can prove that I'm a UNC, I will donate. 100,000 TT to a charity of your choice. I think the so reason I, uh, why Wall Street people are assuming that you're aligning yeah. yourself with the UNC is because you guys seem to be singing from the same hymn book these days. I don't know. I'm assuming. Nah. No, 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 no. You're not singing from the same hymn book. You're not singing from the same hymn book. That is the rhetoric that those in the PNM and the go along get along PNM gang want to put out on social media but they could put that out how much they want you know as wall street as remember this conversation is not to argue about what is going on now i'm trying to find out what happened then so we could fix it and move forward all right so let me tell you so take so me back to go when you decided right. that you're not a part of this go along get along gang right so let me say this right let me say this right look i'll tell you how all this started right okay when I decided to, you see, a lot of people don't know the history of Wall Street. They just know me on radio, calling all the radio stations. But none of them was in the, in, 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 in the belly of the beast. When the PNM was in opposition, and all the hard work I did for Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley when he was in opposition. When I took Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley to the New York Stock Exchange. I talked about that on the show two days ago. Yeah. I talked about that right. right here two days ago. Yeah, and in the and the history of Trinidad and Tobago is the first time in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. People came on the floor of the exchange from Trinidad and Tobago and they got a gold badge. This little black boy from Chumaka Clavantel accomplished that for Dr. Keith Christopher when he was in opposition. Okay, not only that, 
but at Medgar Evers. And of course, there was a team of people as well at Medgar Evers. We ram out Medgar Evers. And let me say this for the first time eh, on national radio. Eh? I personally rented a Sprintec Mercedes Benz van. Right? To carry them all over New York, New Jersey, Queens, all over that they have to go. I personally rented that because I wanted to treat them as dignitaries when they came to this country when there was an opposition. Okay? All of that. My wife used to see me coming home 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, going from Brooklyn to New Jersey. My wife of 32 years used to see me doing all that hard work. Right? Now, let me fast forward. And in this household here, where I'm sitting at right now here, is a PM household. My wife from Mentuali. Mentuali, my wife grew up in my mother in all of them from Mentuali. Right? So, for all them years, you're in the vineyard and you're toiling in the vineyard. You're toiling because you want PM to come into power because the UNT was in power them time. I toil. I toil hard. Work hard. Right? When I was at the New York Stock Exchange, I had to close my office door so I could call 91.9 and I could call 104.7 more FM or Power 102 or, or, or I-95.5, right? For the PNM and Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, right? Okay, let me fast forward now. 2015, the PNM came into power. When Dr. Rowley came into power, that September night, I was in Banze House, live streaming it to the world. I was the happiest man in the world, happiest PNM. Okay? And this is where the things start now. You see, when you toil in the vineyard as a PNM and you put in all them hard work, you're supposed to be rewarded for your hard work. You're not supposed to toil all them years in the vineyard when you was in opposition. And when you come into power now, you kick you like some lopey dog to the side. That's unacceptable. Let, it, let them in the go along, get along, PNM gang. Let them do that. They could get kicked in the vineyard. Let me give you a quick example. When the UNC was in power, them fellas in the underground report, is that what they call it? The underground report? The pavement report or some labas report or some report. I know the report. Yeah, the, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. the one with the potong and the, and the razzle dazzle man. I know that show. I know the show. I know the show. No, no, that's the one with the pump pack. Yeah, a little chihuahua, the chihuahua dog, I know it. Yeah, like TK and Bird Smith. Mm. Right? When them was when when them was 104, right? And them was and UNC was in opposition. And them fellas criticized the PNM left, right, and center boy. Everything. When the UNC came into power in 2010, from 2010 to 2015. Them fellas was on 91.1. And I go call names to how come? I, I, I saw yeah, but I had to on, on, on our program, WZY 95.9 FM, in the village with the dark triplets. We keep it truth to power. No, well, I would in like you to talk the truth. That's the reason why we trashing it out today. Yeah, let me, let me ask a question now. How come Pastor Google, Julia Davis, Tilma Wilson, Dominic Romain, or Bruce Wayne, Caribbean 91.1 now. How come? How come? And them toiling the vineyard for the PNM. How come? Them is no radio host. How come they come here 91.1? Why? They toil for the PNM and they're still toiling for the PNM. I mean, they know part that they go along, get along PNM gang. Up to right? now, you ain't but, tell me what I mean, though, eh? No, Up to now. The go along, get along gang is that all of them going along so they could get along. Them is not, them is not, them is not thinking nothing critical about the PNM and how they could better the PNM. But listen, if you can't get out job at 91.1 and you defend the PNM so much, but look at me, I came to the PNM and asked the PNM to paint three buildings in Chumaka Club until I have been painted for 15 years. An abandoned building that been sitting there since 2000. Is, is that what is that what sparked the falling out? Was that the first the first issue? Yeah, that was go the ahead. first issue that we started. Okay, well, go ahead. The second one. Let me tell you the second one, and I glad you called me, right? 
and I want to go along, get along, get to the go along, get along, pay, and I'm going to listen to this, right? All you in the P in the go along, get along, pay, and I'm going. All you start to talk about economic development, economic empowerment, economic inclusion, and an access to capital for black people and black businesses in Trinidad and Tobago. Let me repeat that. All of all you go along, get along, PNM gang. All you start to talk about economic development, economic inclusion, right? And access to capital for black people and black businesses. And put it in the next part. The second one. I sent a proposal to Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley to get the Workers Bank building on Duncan Street to become the Lavantel to Wall Street Empowerment Center. That building been sitting there for years. That's the one at the bottom what? opposite Tambran Square? Correct is right. Okay. All they have to do is donate the building to the Lamentel to Wall Street Scholarship Foundation a dollar a month for 30 years and I will get the people the financing to renovate the building so we could have classes, SAT classes, we could have ACT classes, we could have classes for entrepreneurs. We could have computers for the kids. We all kind of thing. The government, not a cent from the government. I didn't ask the government for one pen. This is not for Wall Street. This is for the Lavantel people and environments. The building up in Chumaka is not for Wall Street. That is for the poor, black, disadvantaged people in Chumaka, Lavantel. Right? And you know how much, you know what has happened? You know what has happened since 2015? Zero. Nothing, nada, not. It's like the West Indies. When the, before before this this series here, West Indies winning already doing real good under Nicholas Puran. Very good fella. And Seth Meyer and them. The real doing good boy. I'm proud of the West Indies boy. Right? It's not like before. West Dock left, right, and center. As far as I concerned. With the PNM, all I make is duck. Duck left, right, and center, boy. Nothing. Zero. So oh is it God. is it that they did not communicate with you at all on the request that you were asking or they deferred you to someone else? I saw you 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 trying to be diplomatic. No Wall Street no, listen. Wall Street listen, listen Wall Street. Before you start on me, hold on Wall Street. As I say, the, the purpose of this conversation is not Wall Street, you're not you're not listening to me. The purpose of this conversation, Wall Street, is to not get that under your skin, you know. I want you to talk it out. But at the end of this conversation, what I want to come out of this is that we say, you know what? PNM is the best for the country. We believe that. You still believe that? Yeah, I believe that. All right. Because we believe that, then we're going to put whatever differences aside and do what is best for the country hopefully that will be the end result of the conversation so i am working my way up there i'm working my way up there don't don't be too harsh on me i'm not i'm not here to attack your wall street i just want you to vent because you've been venting loudly on social media and i've been seeing it so i brought you here to vent the pnm have to stop taking its most loyal activists for fools the PNM had to stop doing that. Look at me. Look at me. I am a prime example. I have received zero from the PNM for my constituency. Nada, not. Look, I just had a drive, a hamper drive up in Chumaka, Clavantel. Every single family in the three buildings received a hamper. And let me say this, and this is nothing against the councillor. Eh? The councillor bring a hamper with five row crows in it, right? Five Oakros. So therefore, if you have a family of eight in Chumaka Clavanti, three of them going Okro less. Right? Five Okros in the hamper. No, not just five. Eh? What I mean, there's other things in the hamper, but that's five Okro. So if you have a family of eight, right, three of them going Okro less. Or you can't make a call loo, you could only make a call. They had to come back on the next hamper for you to make the loo. Eh? That's how PM treating people in Chumaka Clavanti. I see that. I say, nah, I can't allow that. Every family in Tumaka Club until in the three buildings receive a hamper. 
and the hamper was so heavy. I heard about your hamper distribution and I want to commend you for it. I I did see videos of the family smiling. They had to have two people to carry the bag upstairs. So you really did come through for the people. You did. You said all the years, all the years the living up there, they have never had anybody to treat them so and it's just a hamper. All the years uh, that's a hamper, boy. Eh? And, 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 and again, thing, but as get emotional when I talk about this. That's a hamper, boy. You come with a hamper and about five row clothes, a yam, a cassava thing for them people because them poor disadvantaged black people in Chumaka Club. And I said, nah, I can't allow that. And it was done in quick, quick, quick thing. And I want to say to the news day, thank you very much, eh? The people in Chumaka Club until make it on the news day. It was no gun thing. It was no negative thing. The hamper was distributed orderly. Everybody getting it. Everything was nice. I cry like a baby. Cry when them people say, oh God, boy, and we never had this type of treatment before. Never. This is the best thing that ever happened. And there was for me, Butty up there. But they don't only have answer my Wall Street. It's Butty. They say, Butty, boy, thank you so much. I say, oh, yeah, listen. This is just the start. This is just the start. And we have something else coming to it. We have something else coming to it. So, Wall Street, is it that. that you're going to continue your charity work in the constituency minus the member of parliament and the councillor? Or are you going to, at some point, include them in what you're doing? Because you're doing great work. One can't take that away from you. But is it done to outshine their work? What, what work? What will them do? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't. I know the ground. Only I know the people in Chumaka can get the girl a hamper with five or in it. That's why I know. Mm. Oh, well, but 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 I sure this is not about outshining nobody. The people have and the people need. They need. So I see a need and I immediately acted upon a need. Me want to. Have, I don't even know the concepts. I don't know the concepts. But you just know he bring yes, he's a back analyst. You don't know the council, but you know he bring five okro. Wall Street is a back analyst. You don't know him, but you know he bring five okro. Well, they tell me, people have been to Mark, tell me, when they, when they look in the bag, it's five okro in the bag. <laughs> right? Five okro. I don't know. I, Wall Street, I, listen. This conversation yeah. I have in here with you this evening, this is one of yeah. many, because I had to have one with Richard Norrie. I had to have one with Mariano Brown. I just call in the oh, list of people Richard, that I... Richard, no, it's not PNM no more? Richard going through some things too. Uh, it's a lot. Listen, it's a lot. Of, this is a series of many, but it will continue. Is this, is there some way, Wall Street, before you go forward, yeah. is there some way that you can put your emotions aside? Because you're emotional about what happened. I can tell. This is, what, seven years now since 2015? And you're very emotional. No, I said I don't go back to 2009. All you're, all, all, all you're trying to... This is 2009. We start, I started this journey in 2009. This is not just yesterday. This journey started in 2009. And listener, I have so much pity, right? With... The Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago was in opposition at my house. And I'm slowly releasing them. And the, 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 the people on the social media who are part of the Go Along Get Along PM gang, they say, Oh, God, yeah, boy, you didn't get something. Yeah, all you didn't get something. I tell them all you, I didn't get the three buildings in Lavan, Chumaka Club until painted. I didn't get the buildings. Is it that they're painted. going I, to abandon the buildings? Why are they not painting it? Is it that they're going to do away with them? They're relocating the families? Did you talk to anybody as to what the plans is for the area? Ooh. Back in um, back in um, two thousand and when boy, some some someone back then, the representative for um Lavantel West, not Chumaka Lavantel, <laughs> sent a letter to HDC, right after I went on social media to put them on blast, right one letter. In about five years, you send one letter to HDC to talk about the, the, the abandoned building in Chumaka Club. One letter. One letter. Right? And oh God! Them in the Gualong Get Along PM gang boy, they come out, boy. They come out from under the red rock. And if you see them, what? 
the boy they're going after Wall Street like crazy, but all you I grew up in Chumaka, I love and tell her, they lend one apartment to one. My mother used to pay twelve dollars a month rent. My mother was a water carrier in URP. She mined six of us in a two bedroom apartment in Chumaka Club until. When I got to Maca Club, I just cry, cry to see the condition of them buildings up in Chumaka Club until. A PM stronghold constituency. Been under PM for years. They have never forsaken the PM. Every year they go to the PM. The PM spend millions of dollars on red on the red house. White all prime minister house, president house, anything. Um, all the ministers getting popes left, right, and center. They could buy all kind of car tax exemption, all kind of thing. And them people in Chumaka Club until every single day. Now, ten years, a decade. Every time they come out of the house, they had to look at abandoned building. Six of those years under the PNM. Wall, really Wall Street. <laughs> Wall Street. What happened to the? PNM abroad group that you formed in the United States. Is that group still active? No, that's PNM International. What happened with it? Is it still active? Well, I, I don't know. Until until the PNM decided to kick out the group, I still the president of PNM International. What do you mean they kick out the group? No, uh, no, I said unless they decide. Okay. The how, many the registered, how many registered well, PNMites well, well, we I'm have in America? Think. Under your watch, how many registered PNMites we have in America under your watch? Registered? Yeah. We have 350,000 PNM in the diaspora. 350,000, right? Our group in, 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 which was formed by me, right, to do all that hard work when there was an opposition. You think them people want to do all them hard work again? When they see the leader get absolutely nothing? Okay, so let's forget what the leader didn't get. We're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to that. You see, all where you list here for me this evening, I write in them down in the back of my head because I'm going to bring them back up again in a different place. But yeah. I'm listening to you. Wall Street, can you find it in your heart? Because your heart big. I know you. We've been doing this for years. Can you That's find it in your heart? <laughs> yeah. To yeah. forgive the treatment you would have gotten by members of the party and let us regroup and rebrand and rebuild the activist movement as we do what is best for trinidad and tobago hey you still let us you part of that too right well i see one opening the conversation i started you know it's not just you I had to have this with. I tell you, I'd have it with Mariano. I'd have it with Richard Norrie. I'd, I'd have it with... So, I started. Well, the conversation I started. I said, let me say this, eh? And category clear. And I want people to understand this. At the end of the day, I am a supporter of the people. Okay? And for all the players on you, right? I still have that reward for you. Hundred thousand TT to give your choice if you that have gone to the UNC. I am always open. Right? The ideas to have this thing. How we could move the PN party to be a better party. To be a better party. I, I am about I am about the PNM being a better party. And I want the people to understand eh? or they don't forget. Don't forget what happened with the PNM party, how Dr. Rowley came into power as the prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Oh God, we leaving them thing in the past, Wall Street. No, no, no. You know, sometimes you have to remember the past. Forward. You understand? But, but I said, I am willing to work with anyone in the PNM, whether you are a, a, a part of the PNM, you are on the side. Even yeah. people from the go along get along, young. Huh? Yeah, if them come too. <laughs> if them any, if those those people in the go along, the them get, right? If they want to do and they want to think critically and see how we could improve things in the party, and it's not one or two people benefiting alone, right? One or two people benefiting and the rest of them not benefiting, right? If they want to come and say yes, nobody trying to take away your HDC contract. Nobody trying to take away it, get your home. 
they have farm and tell it that's fine you work in the near too but it's not you alone supposed to benefit what about all them who work in the near too them supposed to benefit too and people say oh god well see well when you pay them come into power all you all you all you are supposed to benefit let me ask them a question does Paris Harari benefit from the government? Eh? Does Stuart Young benefit from the government? Does Rohan Sinanan benefit from the government? Does Carl Inwood benefit from the government? Does Karen Diasin benefit from the government? So when all the government now and can only tell them tell poor black disadvantaged people, oh, let them win, let them support the government. Let them win them support the government too now. Why not? Eh? If you want the little black poor disadvantaged people to win themselves for the government, let them tell us winning themselves for the government too. And call you, call you go get back to know. But I like to speak truth to power. Wall Street, I can I assure you one minute? I'm making an assurance here to you today. Uh-huh. Can I assure you to follow up this conversation at another place? on a virtual call and in the meanwhile until you hear from me again you will stop venting so loudly on social media can you assure me nah. that no 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 drop some venting i sure i sure i sure Patrick doubler says power concedes nothing without a demand it never will right it never will Frederick Douglass says, power concedes nothing without a demand, right? And if you are part of the go along, get along, p and gang, and you don't demand anything, you will get nothing. But look, look, I demand and I still ain't get nothing. And I say I, eh? But I, for the causes that I'm fighting for, my people in Chumaka Clava, girl, still ain't get nothing. Right? So, I, I shall ask you a question. I'm listening. What more could I do, could I have done in order to get them three billions in Tumaka Club until painted and that one billion demolished? What more could well, I have done? As, I, as I'm asking, I am not huh? sure if they have alternative plans for the people in the buildings. Why they did not I take that? I'm I just speaking. You asked my question, Wall Street. Let me answer you now. I said, nah. I said, nah. I said, nah. I call you go down that road. Six years, Aisha. Six years, and you still having plans? Six. Aisha, I teach global business. I teach organizational behavior and principle of business management. Six years, and you still having plans? And you renovate all the other things in in, in 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 the country? And you having plans for them poor black people? Nah, Aisha. Nah, nah. That's not fair, man. Nah, we can't. So, is that. there anything I can do in the immediate form to mm. comfort your? fears and to assure you that things will be looking up i sure you have to show me i sure show me i sure they have not shown me anything zero note it's like i'm both of the west Indies and are open and are going into back and we bring back in Shanali, who took over trinidad and the ball are googly i didn't know where the ball was going and i out for duck duck not I said zero, nothing, absolutely nothing, zero, nothing. I show God, man, come on, I show. So you know, I am human too, you know. I am human. When I when people put in work, you know, let me say this, I show. I go out and train on the track six days a week, I show. And when I go to run a race, my expectation is to break a world record. And when I do break a world record, I have to go back and even work harder. That's why I've established 20 world records. The only Trinidadian in this world have 20 world records. I could boast on that. And let me say to the people in the go-along, get-along, PNM gang, eh? let me say something to all you. Yeah? All you talking about, I looking for relevance. I want all you to go to the latest Runner's World magazine. Eh? This little black boy from Chumaka, Lavantel. Little black boy is in the center fold of runner's world and not only that go to facebook and type in runner's world you will see an article about this little black boy from chumaka lavantel in runner's world eh? what about, so one of the no wall street we're not world. taking away from you your achievement whatsoever i could never take away from you the 
No, I'm just no, saying just publicly. I could never take away from you the years of activism, even from the United States of America. You have never turned your back on the community of Chumacac Laventil. I can't take that away from you. I can't take away from you the fact that anytime the children need devices in the area, you're there. Whenever the people need food, you're there. I'm not going to take that away from you. I the PNM have turned their back on them. The PNM have turned their back on them, Aisha. You hear me? I'm listening. The PNM have turned their back on them. And how come nobody in the, P in the go along get along PNM gang that defend them people in Chumaka Club until? How come? Aisha, listen to this, Aisha. I'm not going to call any names, eh? But I saw a person from the go along get along PNM gang call my phone and tell me, hey, you's not a professor. You don't even know what's going on in Chumaka Club until you live in your luxury place up in up in New Jersey day, and you want to tell people what's going on here in Chumaka Club until you don't know. You don't know how to call my phone. I ain't gonna call the person's name, but they did. And I saved it eh? just in case the person said they didn't call my phone. Why are you calling my phone for? Who Wall Street, for? I think we had to start to bury the hurt. As you know, I too have had my own experience. I too have had my hurt. At the end of the day, I am thinking with age brings reasoning. And every time you get older, you get a bit wiser. Yeah? And if you think that, and you still think that the PNM is the best vehicle to govern the country, then why not include all these brilliant thoughts and ideas you have into your new struggle and make it a reality? I'm just suggesting Trinidad is going to need rebuilding after this pandemic let's be real wall street i'm looking ahead now it's not going to be an easy road and if you love trinidad and tobago and you still have a fighting spirit for you know activism then you would want to be part of this rebuilding process correct and so anything anything to improve trinidad and tobago I want to be part of that. Anything to improve Trinidad and Tobago. And you see, what I'm fighting for them people in Chumaka Lavantel is to improve Trinidad and Tobago. What I'm fighting for with respect to the Lavantel to Wall Street Empowerment Center is to improve Trinidad and Tobago. I shall tell you, I teach global business at a major university here in New Jersey. I teach principles of business management. I teach organizational behavior, right? I don't even talk about the radio station WZY 95.9 FM, where I'm the president and CEO. And all you, all you tune into we program every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eh? Tune into it, eh? WZY TV and WZY 95.9 FM. I'm the president and CEO of that program. You know? But Aisha, let me, let, me, let me ask you next thing. Aisha, Wall Street. you know I have invited, I have invited the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Fitzgerald Hines, Stuart Young, Terence D.R. Singh, um, who else? I invited Ansel Dennis, the, the, the THS secretary. Right. I invited, who else I invite, boy? I invite, I invite six prominent PNM people to come on the program. And I said, can you imagine that, right? I am a PNM activist here in the United States of America. And not one of them have the common this oh i invited amy brown too and i got a response from terence diarson terence diarson say he can't come on the program amy brown dr amy brown tells me he said well i can't come on the program no i will come on the program in the future and i asked dr amy brown i said dr amy brown <coughs> does that mean you're going to come on tomorrow next week or 2025 because the future could be tomorrow next week or 2025 and since that i have not heard from dr amy brown right and them fellas of them don't want to come on this program for whatever reason and i am a pnm when anybody comes onto the program look, look down who is some of the people you have had on your program who some huh? of the who is some of the national guests you have had on your program 
let me tell you, we had Fali Augustine, the deputy political leader of the PDP. We had Watson Duke. We had Dr. Vanas James. We had Dr. Winsford James, right? We had, a, we had Harvey Boris. Harvey Boris come in the program. I don't know the PM will be vexed with him now. Because what? what he, a he listening. Who else you have? Who else? Who else? Mr. Wilson. Oh, we had Rudal Mulilal. We had Indar Singh from the UNC. We had um, Selwyn Kojo, Dr. Selwyn Kojo. We had um, Marsha Walker. We had David Welch. The fellow who them, all of them criticizing Trinidad and Tobago, the little black boy from, 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 from Mova. Let me say this to the people, eh? Well, Sri Dola, we go there because that's where we may differ. I'm just saying. No, no, that's all right. But that's where we may differ in opinions. No, listen, that's okay. Those didn't go along get... All right. Yes, Wall Street, go ahead. Yeah, I saw there's three black players that play for the English soccer team that made it to the European Cup 2020. England made it for the first time in years. And those three English citizens played for England. And before the finals, they were considered to be upstanding English citizens. Wonderful, fantastic, fantabulous, splendiferous. They got England to the final of Euro Cup 2020, but the whole of England proud that we have, we made it to the final. Them three black boys, each one of them missed a penalty. And the, the, the England constituency started to look at those three English players, English citizens, as three black boys. The only people that missed penalty was three black boys. It's the same thing with David Welch. When Philip Edward Alexander did the same exact thing that David Welch did, they handle him with Wall gifts. Street. Like I said, when? we're going to disagree on that, but I don't want to stray well, from the topic. Well, did you had? Did you Barry have Abood, the up? Uh, one minute. Barry Abood was arrested, arrested for disobedience in Trinidad. The police came to him nicely, put a nice handcuff on him, and take him down very nicely. But the little black boy from Mova Lavantel, the police had to come and accost him and abuse him. And take him into things. We, we disagree on that, I'm just book. saying. But let me ask you this. Did you have yes. Kamla Pasad B. Sasa as a guest on your show? We invited her and she was gonna come on and at the last minute for whatever reason she didn't come on. She didn't come. So we invited her. Okay. She didn't come. Yeah. So I cannot talk yes, I cannot talk on behalf of any of the government officials that you invited to be guests on your program and as to why they did not come. I will not try why to offer coming? an excuse for them. I said, why don't think they're coming? Why don't I, they're I don't coming? know. I will not try to offer an excuse for them. Speculate now. Speculate now. Speculate. You Everybody you see a venting loudly on social media, the, um, Wall Street. They probably see any venting loudly as well. Okay. Today I saw a video that you did with, with my dear sister and friend, Donna Cox. And, and that's what make me call you, you know. Donna, Donna Greedy Cox Sampas. Nobody was closer to Donna Cox than you, Wall Street Trini. All when she worked in the mission out there in the United States. But, but I sure, but I sure. Why I would you do a video problem. like that? And I'm going to show my listeners the video when we don't talk. I sure. But let me tell you the problem. Let me tell you the problem we have in Trinidad and Tobago. Part of the problem, eh? You see, whenever we support a party, it doesn't matter what the party does. And that's why I call them the go along, get along, PNM gang. It doesn't matter what the party does, they go along so they could get along. It doesn't matter. That statement by Miss Donna Cox was she could have been thinking it and it could have been. It was taken out of context, stuff. Wall Street. She didn't mean it in that way. I personally spoke no, to her the Saturday, the Sunday. Better not say it. It's better not say it, Aisha. Once you, I'm I not saw, going to. I'm not you, going to nitpick at everything that they say. I saw, it it won't help us the, going forward. I sure once the toothpaste is out of the tube, you cannot put it back in. Once the toothpaste is out of the tube, you cannot put it back in. As a minister, you have to pick your words carefully. You are a representative of the people. Wall Street, and I'm almost certain that I am almost certain 
if you felt this way about Donna, you had her number, you could have picked it up with her privately. No, nah, them fellas, them, them privately. Them, them, once them see and slam the bone, them fellas said, no, nah, but he's a UNC. Wall Street them. Trini, anything you want to add in closing, remember, there are two things you're going to do for me. One, uh, you're going to give me the assurance that you're open uh, to free and fair dialogue as to how we can make this situation work for the best interests of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And you're going to slow down. I wouldn't tell you this, sis, I'll be fast. But you're going to slow down. Your attacks on the government and the government ministers. What attack? What are you call an attack? The what video you that you did attack? today, I consider it to be problem. an attack. That, I said that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem, right? If I disagree with a statement by the People's National Movement, I attack them. No, you could have asked her for clarity, just like me. When I heard it, I called and asked her, say, what's going on here? And she explained, you could have done the same Wall Street. I sure, I sure, I sure, I sure. If I had to call you for clarity, there's a problem. You're in the media, Wall Street. That's what we do. We call for clarity. Don't try that. But, but no, I sure. If I have to call you, what you have to do, I sure, is you have to think before you speak. What on your mind comes out your mouth? What is closing comments, mind? Wall Street? I Remember, you're doing two things, sir, man. Could you agree to the two things? What is that? For the fifty-nine time. One, you're going to open yourself up to conversations as to how we could mend the fences and make this work for the best interest of people of Trinidad and Tobago. And two, slow down. Slow down. I won't use the word attacks, but slow down on your commentary on the government and the government ministers until you hear from me again. Let me ask you a question. Oh, God. You can't get my yes or no? No, no. The first one is yes. Okay. The second one. one. The second one is that I want you, we can, we, we can put this off here. I want you now to tell me what commentary that I have made that's not factual. I'm not saying that you may not be on point or I'm not saying that you may be off topic. However, I'm asking you to slow down until we talk again. Don't what? I don't understand Look, what? Wall Street so, so. closing comments. You, listen, you're really making this difficult for me. I, one task I get to do, one task they give me to do and watch. What are you making it hard for me? Nah, because I don't want to make it hard for you. But anyway, let me go to closing comments. Go I ahead. Say, I want to say to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, my goal is about the country. And when I look at what's happening in my community of Chumakak, Lavantel, I'm very disappointed with the People's National Movement and how they are treating those poor, black, disadvantaged people. They have spent billions or millions of mon money in the, on, the government has spent millions or billions on all type of renovations in Trinidad and Tobago. And your most loyal citizens that have never forsake you, have never left you, have never said every time there's an election and they put their vote in the PNM bank when it's time for the PNM to help those black disadvantaged people the PNM have abandoned them enough is enough that has to change that has to change we cannot continue doing the same thing and expect to get different results and if I have to be the scapegoat right and I have to take the, 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 the flat for those people, I am willing to take this. And I'm going to pose with this, uh, Aisha. You see, Frederick Douglass says, power concedes nothing without a demand. Dr. Claude Anderson also says, a race that's taught to hate itself and love the world would become its own oppressor. And there is four Ds, eh? And what I'm doing, a lot of the people in the go along, get along, PNM gang, this is what they just do, eh? They will demonize me. Before these, eh, they will try to destroy me, they will try to discredit me, and then they will try to dismiss me. Right? Before these. But eventually, maybe 
four years. I didn't before. try to dismiss you. I didn't try to demonize you. I didn't try to discredit you. I tried to get your side of the story and to bring about a resolution. So there. Take me out of that P and M get along, get along, gimme gang or whatever the hell you're calling it. Take me out again. Yeah? So Wall Street, thank you for talking with me. You're gonna hear from me by weekend. Thank you so much, Aisha. I really appreciate it. And remember, your circumstances may determine who you are, but you are responsible for your income. Aisha Wells, thank you so very kindly. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, brother. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye. All right, goodly people, goodly people. We're going to go for a break, and when we come back, we're going to open up the phone lines and allow you guys on the inside. Despite all the ups and downs, we're still grateful for life. Celebrating life. Let's see how we did carnival. I know the limit is the sky. But we're gonna make it work somehow. Who happy to be here tonight? Put your hands in the air. That's why you're living for tonight. <laughs> 